hi everybody, it's Ray, otherwise known as Life and Vibe, and today I'm coming with a very tragic story, and one that medical provider is always my biggest fear when I watch any type of mukbang content online, and unfortunately there was a young lady, 24 years old, who lost her life during a live stream, actively participating in a mukbang, and she she passed away during it. And I have always been somebody who has said that this type of content is very self-injurious, is showing signs of self-harm, has often signs of disordered eating. There's a reward that's given to these creators because people are paying to watch these people eat absurd amounts of food and very unhealthy foods. And the details around this particular case are quite, 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 uh, quite tragic. Um, there's so much uh, to be said about it. And uh, I just wanted to get my fair use out because we will be looking at some news clips and we will be taking a look at some newspaper articles around this having occurred. And so if you do find anything around disordered eating, mental health, general health topics, anything about, you know, young people losing their lives, then I suggest that you do click away for your mental health. So anyway, let's make me small. Let's take a look at this uh, particular news reel that came out on this event, and uh, we'll make some commentary along the way, though this is always my greatest fear, um, that this would happen to any creator on the platform who participates in mukbangs. In a shocking turn of events, the world of online streaming has been rocked by the untimely death of Pan Shouting, a prominent mukbang influencer. Mukbang, a trend originating from South Korea where hosts consume large quantities of food while interacting with their audience, has gained massive popularity globally. Pan Shouting, known for her engaging personality and enthusiastic eating challenges, tragically passed away during a live stream session. Pan Shouting's sudden demise occurred as she attempted to consume an excessive amount of food in front of her viewer. So I understand this young lady made millions of dollars uh, participating in mukbangs. And I don't know if this uh, news broadcast mentions it, but China has actually banned the videos of mukbangs in its social media. But Obviously, here in the United States, people think that's taking away people's freedom of speech and taking away the rights of individual liberty by putting any restrictions on these types of eating content. Um, I've had people in my comment section say that, you know, they don't want to, you know, they find it very um, comforting to watch people eating because they came from countries where food was restricted. And so to be able to see people eat liberally is something that they enjoy and they would hate for that to be taken away. But as we can see, like anything with content creation, it seems to go to an extreme. So such an extreme that this young lady actually lost her life while participating actively in a mukbang, which means that her audience actually saw her pass away. And that is something that I think a lot of people, if you've never had to actually see that occur, could be very difficult to see. I, that is something that you would not. And we know that, for example, Foodie Beauty uh, did a five hour live stream the other day, not that she was eating the whole entire time, but she has minors in her chat. And so it could be people under the age of 18 who suddenly see this event occur. And so I understand that, like I said, China has banned this from their social media. Uh, but this young lady was able to get away from it, away around it due to her being uh, live, doing it live. I'm sorry, there's a thunderstorm that just went off and lightning over my house just as I started to record this because the weather with it being really warm also means it's very tropical. <laughs> so I apologize for the sound in the background and my dog might start barking um, while we talk about this. During the live stream, she reportedly experienced severe discomfort and distress, 
which we were initially attributed to her usual dramatic flair. However, as the situation escalated, it became evident that something was seriously wrong. Viewer watched in disbelief as efforts were made to intervene and provide assistance remotely, but tragically, they were unsuccessful. The incident has sparked renewed debate over the ethical implications of mukbang and the pressures influencers face to entertain their audiences at any cost. Critics argue that the competitive nature of and so I will get into a little bit further into this with some articles from the Daily Mail. But obviously, we often worry about in our community that it's not just the fact that these creators are doing it for entertainment purposes, but they may be doing it for people who have fetishes around watching people uh, consume very unhealthy food, people who are needing um, the sort of desires to see people could become immobilized, incapacitated. And obviously, you could see, um, unfortunately, these are um, stills of the young lady uh, eating chocolate. And obviously, the foods aren't healthy. They're not tucking into pounds of vegetables. They are tucking into pounds of fast food, saturated fats, sugar, salts, anything that's not specifically healthy. And I apologize if you can hear the weather. Of course, this is the time I decide the film. And I am very sorry for that. Mukbang, where viewership and engagement are paramount, may push influencers to undertake dangerous eating challenges for the sake of entertainment. Concerns about the impact on influencers' health and well-being have been raised, prompting calls for stricter guidelines and regulations within the streaming community. Fan Shouting's death has also prompted an outpouring of grief and condolences from her fans and fellow influencers. Many have taken... And... We, I feel, sometimes as a community, need to make sure that we are trying to encourage the best of, of, of a lifestyle. That's why I feel that when content is very uh, clickbaity, that it's to the extreme and not to a positive extreme. To a negative extreme, it tends to get more views. And it seems to be something strange with human nature that makes us drawn to that type of content i'm not specifically i'm more drawn to trying to warn people that this type of diet this type of eating is obviously going to be detrimental to your health and it has unfortunately taken the life of this young popular content creator in china very sad very sad story into social media to express their shock and sadness over the loss of someone who was not only a popular figure in the mukbang community but also a beloved personality known for her infectious enthusiasm and charisma. As investigations into the circumstances surrounding Pan Shouting's death continue, authorities are considering whether there was any negligence or oversight that contributed to this tragic incident. The streaming platform and Pan Shouting's management team have yet to release official statements regarding the incident, but the community eagerly awaits further updates and explanations. This heartbreaking event serves as a stark reminder of the risks associated. And when we look at the articles from the Daily Mail, you'll actually find out what occurred. And it is absolutely horrific, the events, which is why I say if you are not going to be able to you know, get further through this event and watching my reaction to it, which is just, I'm just saddened. I'm very saddened. Um, and I've always had this great fear that something could happen to Chantel when she's eating because her health is not in great, um, she's not in good health. And I do have concerns that she potentially could suffer some type of event and she could do it while live streaming. I wouldn't wish that upon anybody, but it is always a great fear of mine as a medical provider and somebody who's trained to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. Associated with the pursuit of fame and the potential dangers of pushing boundaries in the name of entertainment. It also underscores the need for both influencers and platforms to prioritize safety and responsible content creation, ensuring that the well-being of creators is never compromised for the sake of views or rent. And they're about to finish this report. And so I will um, just say that I have reported Chantel's content to YouTube as being self-harm, self-injurious, that she is 
choosing to ignore the advice of her medical providers and continues to create content which focuses primarily on food and recently it seems that she's even ticked up and said that that's all she's going to really do is food and a live stream and the live stream she's often eating food and so where do we draw the line as a community in saying that something needs to happen that will put an age restriction or put it behind a, she was potentially behind a paywall and had been going around whatever uh, you know uh, rules that China had in place in order to not have this content be out for the public to see and uh, yet she was getting I understand millions of dollars a year uh, creating this content and I apologize if I'm losing my track a little bit there's a terrible storm out here and I'll put the links to all of these different channels in my description box engagement okay so that was that particular story uh, so yeah that's a very tragic story. So I wanted to share some of the uh, news articles about it. And it actually does talk about um, what this young lady passed away from. Obviously, um, I apologize because the Daily Mail always has a lot of advertisements in here. Um, and it's Horrors Extreme Eater 24 dies during live stream on 10 hour food binge on chocolate cake, chicken and seafood after her stomach ripped open. That is just a horrific way and it must have been agonizing for her to have had succumbed to such a such an event and what they sort of spoke about it that she had been you know doing all this and she had thousands of people watching um, and they suspect that it was actually her stomach um, had ripped open because it just could not take in the quantities of food. The organ is only going to stretch but for to, to such a size. And that's what the autopsy results have uh, revealed. And that her stomach had become severely deformed and was actually filled with undigested food. And so she was putting so much into her stomach and the stomach didn't even have time to process the food and send it out into the intestinal system. And they believe it burst and then the stomach acids then leaked into her abdominal cavity. Um, and that was extremely dangerous. And the food, everything leaked into, into the rest of her body. Um, and so that is just, I, I can't imagine. Um, so they talk a little bit about this article about how doctors are now warning influence in the West could be next with several content creators in the US becoming extremely popular. And the reason why I pictured this, and this is this poor young lady, uh, not during the time when the, I don't think this is when the event happened. Um, but they're talking about the fact that they, I think they're trying to obviously respect the family and respect her by not showing her actual, um, face fully um, in respect to them, um, that they would live stream in order to get around the Chinese government's ban on this. And so they talk about in this one, and it's a lot of people that we may know from YouTube and people that there's another one where they talk about, they've had a couple of articles now, they talk about Nicocado Avocado um, and how he's become a multimillionaire. Uh, from eating and how much weight he's gained and how he eats 10,000 calories live on camera and has titles like I hate myself, goodbye YouTube and live, celebrating our 700 pound milestone, uh, which features obviously uh, his friend. They also talk about Hungry Fat Chick, Miss Candy Godiva, um, who is also, I understand, created uh, mukbang videos with Nikocado Avocado and has been out and ate them and about her net worth being about a million dollars. This is unfortunately this young lady. Um, they talk about how she would gorge just on huge plates of food, including seafood and cake. Um, and here we have Dr. Andrew Harris, who's a senior lecturer from psych at psychology at the Nottingham Trust University in the UK. Um, discussing that mukbang videos center around consumption and indulgence 
which we know we see Chantel do, uh, potentially reinforcing a cycle of overeating or unhealthy food relationships. And I've spoken a lot about how she has issues around disordered eating. Uh, they then had a poll on the Daily Mail uh, asking whether this should be banned on live streams. And 90% of people said yes. <laughs> that was over 20,000 votes, with only 7% 7 saying no and 3% not sure. So these might be people that, for whatever reason, <laughs> you know, feel that it still should be allowed. And there could be their reasons for it. Uh, this event happened on July the 14th, and then she collapsed in front of everybody. And the viewers did reportedly try to provide remote help. Remote help. Obviously, remote help is not going to help. Well, and I think in this situation, there was nothing that would have been medically able to have been performed in order to save this young lady's life um, due to her having that incident with the stomach literally ripping open and that she had recently been hospitalized with stomach bleeding and it's not clear how long it was that she had been discharged. So she was already starting to show problems, um, but obviously just ignored that and continued in her habits as we see Chantel ignoring her doctor's advice not to say that I'm wishing this upon anybody I'm just saying it's very dangerous they show obviously pictures of, of, of candy here and her eating uh meals that we have seen uh, foodie beauty consume far more than this we also see you know Nick Accardo, he was doing his Amberlynn Reed um sort of video i think one of these he did he was sort of mocking amber Lim reed but in reality he's really only mocking himself um and one of the things they say that eating that much food can cause the stomach to rupture or tear during excessive stretching eating a massive amount of food can also lead the stomach to expand and become distended which can press surrounding blood vessels as well as put pressure on the heart raising the risk of a cardiac arrest and I've always said that that is one of my greatest fears is that Chantel will have a some type of cardiac event. And, and I have said it. It can also cause severe electrolyte imbalance, again, causing effects on the heart. Um, and then they, they talked a little bit about how, you know, originally it was to start, you know, social loneliness. But in reality, it's substituting deeper real life social interactions with more superficial virtual ones. And now they're talking about the fact it's just become a display of gluttony, of self-harm. And I've, we've talked about this many a time. And again, we've talked about it becoming a glorification of self-harming behavior. And I can't remember how many times I have, as a healthcare provider, spoken about this. It's not just about her raging. It's literally about the promotion of very unhealthy lifestyle choices that can potentially cause true and real harm to somebody. Um, obviously, you're going to have elevations in glucose, which we already know Chantel is a type 2 diabetic, and lipids. She is on simvastatin, which is a cholesterol-lowering medication. Um, it causes acid-base disorders, shifts in your electrolytes, obviously dehydration, and we see Chantel often drinking huge amounts of water to try to make up for that. Um, and then obviously watching people gorge themselves on healthy foods can reinforce unhealthy eating habits. And I've always said that, you know, despite people wanting to have liberties, what are we showing people about relationships with foods that are potentially extremely unhealthy? And then the last article that I just wanted to share uh, very quickly, um, again, they are, this has been highlighted by the Daily Mail. Um, and again, just showing uh, very well-known YouTubers. And of course, they highlighted um, I, Taylor Lejeune, who was somebody who I believe was much more popular on TikTok. He had his uh, even his own type of um, food thing here. And he died of a young age, suspected from a heart attack at the age of 33. Um, and again, they, they were just kind of talking in this article. They, unfortunately, there's a young lady who lost her life about the fact that 
um, that th this is a very dangerous world. This extreme eating, these mukbangs, the amount of foods, the platter sized foods, the three big old pieces of chicken, all the chips, the huge fat of coleslaw that we saw with Chantel. She is no different than sometimes what we might see uh, hungry fat chick eating. Now, we don't call her out as being problematic because we understand that Candy has maybe some underlying deeper issues. She's not as uh, sort of volatile and uh, aggressive with her content as far as interacting with her audience as Foodie Beauty is. But again, it's not about necessary. And that's why people kind of go after Chantel a little bit more. Uh, but it's really about this glorification, in my mind, of overconsumption, of eating all this food. It's glorifying uh, self-harm, I have notified and reported many of Foodie Beauty's videos for this, and people have said I should keep out of it. You know, why was I, as a registered nurse, I need to stay in my own backyard? No, this is because this is a global community on the YouTube platform, and as a healthcare provider, and, and as I said, somebody trained to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, I see so many underlying issues that are being created because of this content. And so the, the Daily Mail has been highlighting this um, to the audience about the fact that, you know, this person had eight, uh, it's 12.2 pounds, 1.5 stone of food. Um, I don't think it's 122 pounds. I think that was a misstep on their part. And then we talked about, obviously, um, how her stomach was be actually becoming deformed. And then they kind of list out the other ones. The only creator they did not mention um, was obviously Life by Jen, who we also know lost her life, was also a mukbang creator, also ate very unhealthy food, large amounts of food. We already have an obesity epidemic globally. And we have content that glorifies this and makes these people very well off. Um, and obviously, there's a lot of they've they've spoken to a lot of therapists about this and about the fact that for some people may use extreme eating challenges to seek attention, validation, or to fit in with a social group, desire for recognition or acceptance. Um, others, such as binge eating, binge eating um, can underlie from other psychological issues, can be behind that. Um, coping mechanism for emotional distress, trauma, low self-esteem. These are all things that I have spoken about on this channel. I know people are like, oh, I'm not here for the medical. Well, there's reasons why I do bring these things up. Uh, people use food to numb emotions, to gain sense of control, or to seek comfort. And they here they very clearly say, and we've said this many a time, therapy is one way to help people address any underlying issues and develop healthier relationships with food. And then again, they talk about Nicocado Avocado and his changes from having been a healthy vegan uh, eater and very slim into becoming the person that we know today. Uh, eating extremely large amounts of very unhealthy food and the amounts of weight that he has gained. And as a, they just underlie that fact that, and this is what I always say, um, you have a greater risk of having a cardiac event. A heart, a heart attack is very um, potentially possible. Um, and the same message is with people who binge alcohol and glorify it. It's no different when we have people out with these very unhealthy foods and doing the same. And I just have always said this indulgence, this uh, centering around consumption, over eating, and very unhealthy relationships around food is not something that we want people to think is, is normal. And as we know, as I said, Chantel has young people in her audience. And so they're obviously you know, people feel like that, they're, they're, you know, I spoke about, you know, people not feeling lonely when they watch this uh, type of content. But at the end of the day, uh, this content is extremely, uh, very dangerous in my mind. Uh, so anyway, that um, was the story that I wanted to share with the audience today. It's a very sad story. My condolences to 
Pan Pan Shating, I hope I said that correctly, uh, family and for the loss of their loved one. I always say, please do take care of your mental health, take care of you, be safe. I'm not going to uh, finish out my live stream as I usually do, um, just because I don't feel that I want to do that today, because this is such a serious topic. And I just hope that this gives you uh, more understanding as to why I find it so important to highlight these types of issues around the type of content and around foodie beauty a little bit better. All right, take care, everybody. And I will hopefully not have to be reporting another sad story like the one on this young creator.